October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, but awareness of the serious nature of domestic violence and the impacts that it has on our Coasties and their families is not confined to only one month. And the violence isn't limited to only occurring in October. In fiscal year 2014, the Coast Guard's Family Advocacy Program received over 200 reports of domestic violence. And those are just the ones we heard about because someone reported them. That's 200 families and an untold number of children impacted by preventable incidents. We know that domestic violence continues to be one of the most underreported crimes in this country, including the military. Fortunately, the incidences of serious abuse appear to be decreasing. We know that most incidents in the Coast Guard are limited to low levels of violence, minor physical injuries, and emotional abuse. But getting help early remains key to preventing situations from getting worse because the experts say that the longer the abuse goes on in a relationship, the worse it gets. Every Coast Guardsman has a personal stake in being part of the solution to this problem. If you are a victim or know of someone who is, know that abuse is never justified and that victims are not responsible for the abuse. Every victim needs to know that help is available and that the Coast Guard now offers restricted reporting to victims of domestic violence just as it off is offered to victims of sexual assault. Every offender needs to also know that help is available. If you suspect you've been abusive to a loved one, be honest with yourself. Resolve to stop it and get help. A self-referral is always the best type of referral. Our core values and creed call on us to stand up, to stand up for victims, to take responsibility for our thoughts, our words, and our deeds, to get help when help is needed, and to spread the word, help is available.